in 1831, Michael Faraday predicted one of the most important laws in physics. He discovered that the change in the magnetic field inside the coil will produce electricity. Now here is where it gets interesting. The electricity produced in the coil will create an electronic current, which in turn will create another magnetic field. So, in 1834, Heinrich Lenz came up with the shortest law in science history. It consisted of a single minus sign added to the Faraday equation. He claimed that the new magnetic field created in the coil will oppose the original one. Confused? Don't worry. A simple experiment will make it all clear. So, let's prove the Faraday and Lenz law. All we need is the physio lab disk, a magnet, a coil, and two banana cables. Let's select the lab disk low voltage sensor, uncheck the others, take 25 samples per second, and a total of 10,000 samples. We will connect the lab disk voltage sensor to the coil using the two banana cables. And using the crocodile clips, we'll connect the coil. We'll hit run and start measuring. We'll insert the magnet into the coil and see what happens to the voltage we got a negative voltage pulse. We'll remove the magnet, and we got a positive voltage pulse. Let's do it again. Negative, positive. Lenz was right. Increasing the magnetic field in the coil will decrease the voltage created, and vice versa. But what about the intensity of the created voltage? Let's run the experiment again. Moving the magnet slowly will produce a low voltage while moving it faster will produce a much higher voltage. Let's insert the magnet in the coil and see what happens. The voltage is zero. But why? It's obvious that there was a magnetic field inside the coil. Remember what Faraday said. It's the change in the magnetic field that is responsible for creating electricity. No change means no electricity. Next time you turn on your TV at home, try to imagine life without electricity and say thanks to Faraday, the inventor of the first electricity generator. <music>